Hello, this is Cayman, and today I will show you how to build a automatic super smelter. This video is a follow-up to my older auto smelter tutorial. Check the description. In the last design, people had problems with this, so when the hopper minecart runs out of ores or any other smeltable item, this happened. So it goes there, it comes back. And yeah, not all of the furnaces will turn on. But now, when the minecart hoppers are replaced with minecarts with a chest, you can place a much more items inside here. Simple as that. And you know what? This is a superior design. And here are the items you will need for this build. Half a stack of building blocks, 48 hoppers, 16 furnaces, 4 rails, 38 power rails, 3 levers, 2 chests, and 10 2 minecarts with a chest. And then let me show you something first before we start the building. Here you can see the whole farm, and now let me show you how this works. You take some coal, and let's take some beef. You place the beef in this minecart, and then you place the fuel in this minecart. Then let's get back here and flick this lever once. And as you can see, all of the furnaces turn on nicely. In here we have 16 furnaces, but you can also make this smaller, like this smelter in here. Here we have 8 furnaces. In this bigger design, I always recommend you to place at least 16 items at once. If you only place, let's say, 15, all the furnaces won't turn on. As you can see. So 16 items at once is the minimum. If you do not have enough space to build this thing, you can always build it like this. You can make it even smaller if you want to. I think this is kind of nice. Now you can fit this in a smaller space. So yeah, there's that for you. But anyways, now, let me show you how to build this thing. Now, let's start by digging down a row of 16 blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then, place the hoppers, crouch, and then click the hopper in front of you, so they will connect. Place these down. Like that, and then place the furnaces on top of these hoppers. And again, crouch and place the furnaces on top of these hoppers. If you do not crouch, you will open the hopper. So yeah, please crouch. And now, break two blocks, break two more in here, and then place a chest in here. Now all of the smelted items will come through these hoppers inside this chest. Then, take some more hoppers, go back here, crouch again, and place the hoppers pointing into these furnaces. The hoppers should look like this when it's connected. And yeah, then some more hoppers on top of the furnaces. Simple as that. Now, take some blocks, place three blocks in this side. Then, back here, two blocks and one up. Same thing in here. Three blocks, then two blocks and one up. And why do we place three blocks in here, but only two blocks in here? Well, let me show you. When you place these rails, you want them to go in this direction. If you start building the rails right next to each other, this happens. And yeah, we don't want that. But if we place three rails in here, and then one in here, they will not connect. And that's why we do this. Now, place two powered rails, then one regular rail, then powered rails all the way on top of these hoppers. And then again, regular rail and a powered rail. 
Now, let's do the bottom row. So, power trail, regular rail, and again, power trails all the way. Then again, regular rail and a power trail. Now, let's get on top of here. Break that rail and place one block above in here. Then let's go back in here. Again, break this rail, one block in here. Now, go on front here, place one lever. And as you can see, this lever will activate these two rails in here. Then go back and then place one block in the middle or two blocks just for the aesthetic reasons and then place one lever and activate it. And as you can see, all of the rails are activated. And now we have to activate these rails. So it will happen like this. Dig one block down, crouch, place the lever in here and then flip it. And as you can see, they are activated nicely. So, then the last thing. The minecarts with a chest. So, place the first one in here and second one in here. Some of you might say that it's stupid that you have to go back here to place your fuel. But you can also always build a small stairway going up. So it will make this easier for you. But you know, the easiest option is always just to go all back here and place the fuel. It won't take that long time at all. You can replace these furnaces with blast furnaces if you want to. But this can always melt ores and armors and tools. You can also replace the furnaces with smokers, but it can only cook food items. And in these regular furnaces you can smelt anything. Well, it will be a little bit slower than these ones. But I always recommend to use these. And now is the time to test this. So, take your any smeltable item you have. I will place four stacks of iron in here. And then let's go back here and place four stacks of coal. Now let's go up front here, click the lever once, and see, yeah, every furnace is activated. And now let's see if they have evenly spread the items. And yes, they sure are. Now just leave this on to do its business. And you know what? We are done. And now let's wait for those items to smelt and check inside this chest. And as you can see, here they come. They will be pushed inside this chest in a 16 item cycles. So, every time this furnace has cooked one item, 16 comes inside this chest. I hope that makes sense. But anyways, all of the items are smelted and pushed inside this chest. And as you can see, it works quite fast, in my opinion at least. And if you use this smelter only for food, please use smokers. Food cooks a lot more faster inside these smokers. And the same thing goes with a blast furnace. If you, if you only use this farm for cooking ores and such, please use these. These will also cook those a lot more faster. Or smelt, not cook, but smelt. These will cook and these will smelt. And yeah, in my first tutorial, I said at the beginning that this is a slightly modified version of Kapfan 135's auto smelter. And yeah, there's a link in the description to that video too. So go check him out. And one more thing, I recommend you to use these dried kelp blocks. If you have a kelp farm, please use these. These will burn a lot more longer than regular coal. And if you do not have a kelp farm, it's super easy to make. I will add a link to the description to my dried kelp farm. Please go and check it out. It's super useful when you have a kelp farm. And yeah, this is the fully automatic super smelter. And it's awesome. Every world needs one, one of these. And yeah, thank you for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider subscribing. And hey, why not go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you next time. This is Kamond. 
See ya.